call the Tuesday, May 15, 2018, Board Commissioners Transportation Committee to order. Um, as is our custom, first order of business is to, we have all members present from the committee. To my right, we have County Administrator Mark Till, Ross Hill is County um, Department of Transportation Director Miguel Valentine. Um, to his immediate right is um, the Commissioner from the 3rd District, um, Michael Mulcair. To his right is um, our Multimodal Director, um, Gary Watson. Um, we have Jessica, who is our new yes. partner. Are you permanent with us or just temporarily? Yes. Oh, she's she's welcome to the committee. Thank you. All right, welcome to the committee. She will serve as our um, committee secretary. And do we have any other guests that are coming? Uh, Michael Hightower and Danielle Crow from the collaborative firm are scheduled to be here. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll keep moving with our agenda in the meantime, and hopefully they'll, they'll get here. That being said, um, first order of business is the approval of the last meeting's minutes, which was from what April revised from April twentieth. April seventeenth. April seventeenth. And, and Chairman, on that I do have uh, a revision of item four. Okay. And essentially, it's just to add to uh, the description there. Uh, I'm sorry, I said item four, item five, Whitestone Culver project. Essentially, uh, the discussion was along the lines that the design is continuing, and the project will be bid out for construction once the design is completed. So, with those uh, changes or those edits to item uh, five, I'm satisfied with it. Is there any opposition to the, the edits? No, sir. No, sir. Motion to approve as noted. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm staying because I wasn't here. Do we know that we make sure that it's acknowledged? Passes. Who are old is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So that was the revised from, from my last meeting. Uh, Miguel, I'll let you take up well. The yeah, first item is going to be. Oh, we do have revised March 20th, okay. 2018. And that was one out. Okay, yeah. so that, okay. that one is uh, circulating. Yes, we're ready to go on this one. All right. Can I get a motion to adopt the meeting minutes that were revised from March 20th, 2018? So, that's it. Sure. All the papers are out. Aye. Aye. All right. All those who are here present pass this file. center expansion uh, and that item is a multimodal uh, request uh, so uh, we'll pass the baton over to Gary Watson. Yes, the architect has completed the drawing and design for the 6,200 square foot addition to the transportation center. We are ready to request construction bids from, from contractors uh, and we're requesting uh, authorization uh, from the Transportation Committee to submit this request to the full Board of Commissioners. Uh, this will be about a $1 million uh, to $1.2 million project. It's funded by a federal grant, which will pay 80% of the cost. Uh, and this project is in the, the rideshare multimodal budget for 2018, so we will not have any additional budget impact. Any questions or comments? Do we agree No, sure. So just we gave one more time for the record, it's something we have discussed in our prior full board commissioners during the budget process mm -hmm. and secondarily when we adopted the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Can I get a motion to um, send forth a recommendation for the finance committee? And so the transportation committee for this? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. All right, we'll keep moving. That's just five all for the recommendation. All right, next item. <coughs> all right, the next item is also a multimodal request. Uh, and uh, Gary can provide his details on this. If, if we're going to build an expansion to our center, we're going to need furniture and equipment to go in it. And so this is uh, a Federal Transit Administration grant that we've just been awarded. Uh, it's <coughs> Uh, as a set of furniture and equipment for the, the transportation center addition. 
one of the big pieces of equipment that will be included is a driving simulator that will allow us to, to better train drivers not only for our programs but for all county employees. Um, this, this grant awards $240,000 in federal money with a $60,000 local match and this project too is part of our 2018 budget so it will not have any additional budget impact. Um, so, um, I want to statement regarding, uh, you talked about just doing the budget process. Talk to us a little bit about that simulator. When you say simulator, this is for drivers, uh, um, um, our current ride share, uh, people who may drive our uh, um, seniors around, mm -hmm. disabled, um, the voucher program. Correct. And I'll, for, I'll uh, obviously the main focus on it will be the people involved in our program, the van pool drivers the drivers in the, the senior voucher program, uh, the senior citizen center program, all of those. Um, but also, um, any county employee, any new employee who is going to be driving a county vehicle has to go through a, an orientation process. And this simulator training will become part of that process. Okay, so this is extending beyond the defensive driving that all of us I think she will take it. Yes, sir. Uh, this is takes it to one more level. Yes. Ms. Walker, did you have to take that one? I mean, I had to when I came along. Yeah. I didn't know that it existed. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. any other comments, questions from any other committee members? Okay. Can I make a motion? Uh, motion we recommend acceptance of the grant. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 <coughs> Okay, third item is uh, uh, the multimodal public engagement update, and I, I see Mr. Hightower yeah, here. Uh, yeah, they uh, uh like Daniel, they're coming as, as a here, uh, they'll be here shortly. Okay, all right, so if, if we uh, skip that item for, for the time being, go to item <coughs> number four, Stuart Mill, Granville's Intersection Improvement, and that is the item that was discussed at, at a <coughs> session. It is a uh, design contract to finalize the construction drawings for that intersection and uh, as we discussed it is an item on the agenda tonight uh, uh, the amount of the design contract was 110,000 $110,659.87. And this is uh, to re-engage uh, the original design, well, the firm that inherited or acquired the firm that originally designed uh, the project. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, the project kind of sat uh, dormant for a while was because it was being designed at the time of just prior to the 09 floods. And um, uh, that had an impact in the immediate area and it changed the conditions mm -hmm. and that have to be revisited. And so therefore, uh, we've negotiated a, a fee uh, with the same uh, firm to complete the process, design the project. We anticipate about a four <coughs> uh, timeline for a design. And then it will be bid let me ask a question. So, that recall, Commissioner Walker, I know you were out there directing the fact the flood of 2009. How many bridges and how many roads were there? 57 bridges. And because I thought at some point FEMA dollars came that we were able to address certain <coughs> things, but I couldn't remember it all. Yeah, yeah, after we paid, it seemed like it was like six bridges. And uh, 57 roads? Yeah, yeah well, it was closer to 100 roads, I think, to, to some degree of damage. Some are pretty extensive. Uh, that's my recollection. I mean, that was nine years ago now, right? No, no. Chairman. <laughs> no, it, it, it was context that this was, a, to your point, an important intersection and that <coughs> at least to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. um, and that, so federal dollars did not reach this, is my point. We did get certain money for reimbursement mm -hmm. to address. So we're saying that 
I mean, you make sure I just follow the money. So again, there was some work done in times past. Life happens, you know, as they said, a macro event happened, no problem. And now somebody else is coming alongside of that. To what extent was, is any of that work reusable or are we starting over? In other words, just give it a county for the past, it's okay. Uh, from the design standpoint, I think some of the work is uh, reusable, but they have to confirm certain benchmarks. For example, <coughs> they have to do additional surveys, and if they find <coughs> that uh, whatever control points they had established initially are still fairly close to the initial survey, yep. then some of that or initial work would be reusable. Uh, if they vary substantially, then they're going to have to redo the entire survey. So it will be a field assessment to see how much can be salvaged. But some of the work uh, is reviewed. And again, I do respect professional service firms, whether they're full place, audit their firms, CPAs, etc. You know, law firms, they don't like to use to prior guys' work because our name is on this and if there's something flawed about it. So I, I'm not incentive, but there's certain like a survey or appraisal, some things that are neutral that could be used. And I was just curious to the extent that we're having to we'll pay twice for the same area. So, okay. Um, any other comments? Yeah. Um, Please, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong. Other, other things could happen too that was designed to a certain specification, say nine years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, specifications through volumes of data and books and so forth. Uh, those specifications <coughs> can change. That's correct. So all of, all of the old work has to be audited for, for want of a better term mm -hmm. to see that it complies with any changes in specifications. Is Absolutely. That, accurate? Accurate. that is accurate. Okay. That's a very good point. Uh, okay. They do have to, to check to confirm that uh, everything is up to date. Now there are some things that we're kind of hopeful that the original <coughs> work is still val valid mm -hmm. on permits and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, some of the uh, standards may have changed. Mm -hmm. Right. Perfect. Good point. Right. Any other comments? Kind of issue that you find? Because again, this is on the mm -hmm. agenda tonight, so we just we've been waiting on this for a while. Yeah, yeah, so this is in Mam. No guide. fault of ours, but we've been waiting on it. Your ready. district or Mam guy? This uh, hers one side of the road, mine's the other. So that's okay. Us and do not. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's move this forward. Can I get a motion? So make a recommendation for the full board, Mr. Snipe. So moved. Second. second. No motion a second. All in favor say aye. 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 No opposed. Motion carries 5-0. Make the recommendation to the board of commissioners tonight. All right. Okay, the next item is uh, a design contract as well for, uh, for sidewalks. Uh, that is one that was also discussed at agenda session and is on the agenda for tonight uh, for, for the board to consider. Uh, long history on in this initially went out for uh, design. There were no takers, no, no, no one submitted a proposal. We then looked to see if there was any other work that we could do without a design and explore that avenue for a while and then uh, eventually determined that that was not going to be feasible for a number of reasons. Things like the drainage had to be designed to certain standards and they were, there were drawings that needed to be uh, developed for that. And then there were uh, school uh, <coughs> crossings near schools that also had to be designed from a safety standpoint, which uh, one in particular is on a state route and that has to be submitted to the DOT. So there was a requirement for plans. So we went back out after some rather extensive outreach and. Uh, this time around, we got at least one proposal, and that is the item that is uh, on the agenda for your consideration tonight. Uh, the recommendation, of course, is to uh, to award the contract for design for all three of those intersections. And the amount of the design fee for that one is <coughs> 180000 It's for all three. For all three. Any comments? And again, I reiterate, um, this is something that was tied to the SPOS, correct? Right. Uh, as a source of funds, um, obviously you have um, safe passage is something that's important, you know, as a co a cooperation with the, obviously, Board of Education when they step off that campus, and now it's into our jurisdiction, it's important that there's a continuity of safety for children, to right. the parks and major um, subdivisions, et cetera. 
And so this has been something that's a long time in coming. Um, and it was interesting, though, we couldn't find anybody to do the work. And, and though I know our, our efforts are um, forthright to encourage participation locally, um, you can't force people to do the work and you've got to hold to standards. So I, I am glad to hear this is done. Uh, I won't belabor anymore. Can I get a motion to put this on tonight's agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Gary, you say you, you and Gary? I'll say that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You do like me. Raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pass this five on. Thank you. Let's keep it. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the Riverside Rock House Roads. So that is a change order. Uh, again, this is an item that is on the agenda tonight. It was discussed at the family <coughs> voting uh, session agenda tonight, uh, this evening, and it was discussed yesterday. Uh, this resulted from uh, the construction of or the signal installation at uh, <coughs> at that intersection, and some of the quantities <coughs> of the original estimate were not quite exact enough, and there were some areas curbing. Uh, sidewalk existing areas that that the new construction was going to tie into that were not in say the best of condition so some of those things have to be redone could not have been anticipated uh, therefore it increased the quantity the quantities of uh, some of the uh, uh, items slightly about a six percent uh, change variance between the original contract and this uh, Request a change. So the the amount of the change is thirteen thousand eight hundred eleven dollars and eighty cents. Mm -hmm. To change it, this will be the final. We believe this is the final piece. That's of my expectation. That mm -hmm. this is going to be the final. It, 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 I believe they're testing it right now. We passed by this That's morning right. and saw it working. <coughs> uh, so it's so duly noted. At least it's testing. I'll put it that mm -hmm. way. Um, that being said. Um, from a Board of Commissioners policy perspective, or specifically the Department of Transportation, does this fall within the threshold of the acceptable um, change order, in other words? It, it does. For a project this size, um, generally the, the guidance <coughs> would be about 10% uh, variance. <coughs> so this is well within that. Commissioner, yeah. okay, are you okay with yeah. change order? We're always fine, you know, to keep up with scope. Yeah, you know, need to get it done. Okay. okay. So if there's no more discussion, I'd like to get a motion to put this also on tonight's agenda for the full board commissioners as a recommendation. Yep. Motion to approve. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? This motion is carried. Okay, the next item is uh, uh, Post Road Bridge. Uh, as you might recall, uh, that is also an item that is a, a spot on the SPLOS list. That, uh, <coughs> The Georgia DOT is uh, working on as a um, uh, design build project. So, uh, as part of that, that program requires that uh, that the local uh, agencies uh, engage in any required right of way acquisition. So, uh, at this time, <coughs> we do not have everything defined in terms of what might be needed. But as a as a <coughs> information item to the board and, and for uh, your guidance in terms of moving forward, that is probably uh, a step that is going to be forthcoming in the very near future that will need to be uh, approved by the board uh, for us to engage in whatever required right of reacquisition. Okay. That might be necessary. So the action item here is? Well, at, at this point, it, it would be a recommendation to move forward with any required right of way acquisition. There, there is no specifics that we are able to discuss at this time. And do we need to take action at this moment, or um, and again, the source of this is what's plus confirmed from me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Give me his own list. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So this is just currently a savings of two point five million. Right, so this, this is that project that y'all worked through and, 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 and was able to, we got them to pick it up and, mm -hmm. but we don't have any right, we, we're not ready. So <coughs> this is just an enablement of action moment. Correct. Yeah, and we knew initially, even when we, when G GDOT decided to take this project over, that we would 
more than likely to be responsible for any right away that was acquired. Okay. That is real estate um, acquisition. I think this needs to go to the full board of commissioners. It, it, it does. When, when we engage in the <coughs> specifics, when we have, uh, initially we would have to do valuation once we establish where, where the need is, uh, the specific areas and all like that. We would have to move forward with uh, establishing values and, and I see. that element will come to the board. Four board would just say that I mm -hmm. think uh, So I don't think there's any action. I, I don't think there's any. This is just action. Update. Other update. Yeah. 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 That, that's why I was pausing. Was there really an, an action here? Um, you, you have authority to do what you do executively to pursue, right? But as far yes. as an action for us for real estate, you know, that's handed to our know to executive session and we bring it both in for the board of commissioners. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Walker, you want to add anything? No. In other words, this is just sort of a no action update. Yes, it's just an update. Okay. Yeah. So when we get the final product, then we'll, we'll bring it back to the board for bring it back to the executive session for the board of commissioners. Mm -hmm. Right, so is this a, an administrative concurrence to continue moving on? Uh, yeah, that's a good term. I like it. Is. Okay. Um, administrative concurrence for the committee, but no action or recommendation yes. for it. <coughs> right. mm -hmm. Did you make that? Yes. Okay. All right. Ooh, I think we're across that. Okay. Um, anything else you want to add to that again? We're good no, with that. No, we're good on that. All right. We're satisfied that item unless we keep moving it. Okay. Well, that uh, brings us back to. Uh, Item number three, the multimodal public engagement update. And uh, I believe everyone okay. Okay. wants to be here is here now. All right, right now. And I'll just, uh, as a, as a the <coughs> I want to just say again, thank you. And I want to thank uh, uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Uh, Mr. Lawson has been very helpful throughout the process with uh, Danielle and, uh, and Amanda Benny. I want to thank you, Mr. Lawson, for your sure. ongoing involvement and taking over calls and being very, uh, very helpful, and uh, I think Danielle, of course, has continued to be vigilant. So I want to uh, kind of let her kind of go over uh, a little brief update today. And then, if you have any questions, of Amanda here as well. They both have been kind of working on this with all the board members, and we uh, uh, plan to have one of, one additional meeting later today with uh, 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 Commissioner Mitchell. So beyond that, uh, Danielle can can kind of. I'd be happy to pass that with you. I, 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 could, I could be a, an assistant. You can do that I, I, I do every role, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's kind of managed. I do every role. You know, you know, what, you know what that means sometimes. So, uh, hey, saying that, I'll be ready to then you know, kind of lead it from here. Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and I apologize that we were a little tardy. Um, just to provide a quick update with a few items. Um, after providing Gary his weekly update on yesterday, we we're able to just summarize some of the activities that we want to provide an update to with thus far. Um, during the, the pre previous one, we spoke about how we were doing the district um, insight listening sessions with the commissioners. Um, actually, I guess I have an update from this update because on yesterday I was able to um, see Commissioner Mitchell and so I have a tentative appointment right after this committee meeting to <coughs> hopefully meet with him as well. So that will conclude all of those. Um, the next thing was the identification of existing district activities um, by the commissioners. And thus far, Commissioner um, Mitchell has the coffee and conversation. So we will discuss that option of us sitting in on that meeting. Um, I think the next um, thing that we uh, wanted to share at this time was the logo uh, <coughs> development for rebranding for Connect Douglas. So we developed four concepts. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Back up. Just we're going to take these one at a time. Okay. okay. I want a previous question just real quick. So, um, as relates to engaging the commissioners, which obviously is a point of a, a point of passage, um, and maybe to the county administrator, are there any other county meetings that are going on that have been synchronized to be tapped into, or is there some independent meetings? Is there intent to have some independent meetings to engage the committee? I want to ask. Is the intent to engage any? Uh, Nothing I know of. Nothing I'm aware of. Okay. Huh. Um. So I, I guess my question is, so how, 
how will we engage the IP? Can you give us a bit? How will we engage? Certainly. So I think that there are different, um, if I may, there are different phases to this campaign. And the final, if we're speaking about the engagement that has to happen with regard to the newly proposed services, that is the third phase of the campaign, which will be scheduled at towards the end of June. Um, we had the when we had the meetings with Commissioner Mulcair, he was he provided the uh, his preferences in terms of location. We also um, identified constituents. Uh, preferences of how they like to be engaged as, as well as with you Commissioner Robinson. Uh, Commissioner Guider also gave some insight on how her <coughs> constituents receive information and so those will be scheduled at the end for the end of June. That's the consensus thus yeah. far. And, 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 I, and I wasn't relegating this solely to new services versus okay. four services that we currently offer. Um, and recall this is supposed to educate the public on what we're doing and what we are Correct. intending to do. To, you know, and, and so how so part of the strategy is for you to help us understand how do we go and, and educate them on the base for things that we currently offer that we mm -hmm. identified that hey they don't even know what we currently offer. Right. And then while you're out there, by the way, we're considering that. And I I guess oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Maybe you you've given it to Gary who just it hadn't been on we hadn't put on the agenda yet just to better understand what is that plan and um you know again if i got eight weeks i can share a little bit more of that Please. if i may so um one of the things we were going to share and i'll come back to it relative to the logo because once that's finalized we'll be able to roll out the new collateral materials uh, but i can give some examples of existing community activities in which we will perform kiosk so um, those that were identified uh, and agreed upon were thus far the hydrangea festival as well as when while working with the communications department and I submitted that also to Gary the shredding event mm -hmm. so those are two large county events that we were proposing I can also give some specific things relative to the goals that were identified yeah, no, and I appreciate that it's important for the committee and also for our record um, of what our intended plans are you know we may see you once a month and so this is a 90-day engagement in theory right so it's very tightly boxed so to the extent that we can sometimes it's a refresher to understand okay um, remember while we're out here as commissioners we're setting expectations with the public and to the extent we know uh, we can anticipate um, it would help so uh, you, you sufficiently answered what i was looking for that, that there has been some thought around it so Yes. And, and, and there were some other events that they considered, I think, uh, that I think we felt like at this time, you know, that Right, and that's, and that's why I said once the, the logos mm -hmm. were finalized, uh, then we would be able to move forward. We also thought, and I thought we agreed, that it was important to um, delineate that there were different phases to the, to the campaign because the existing services are, are being rebranded under a new name, and the, the thrust of that part is to create awareness for those new services. We did not want to invite input on the proposed services until the last leg because we don't want any of the uh, reservations that have been expressed regarding the third leg of proposed services to be attached to the existing goodwill that exists for ride share services. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay, so let me just leave ride share alone. So, Mr. Walker, I think they're trying to suggest they're going to kill Clint Douglas. Is that what y'all are saying? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, what a, uh, that's an inside note. That's, I know he's, well, no, no, he's, so, he's, he's picking at me. Well, not, actually, uh, Danielle came up with the great idea of the past few days and shared it with, uh, with, with Gary. And I think uh, uh, one of the things that uh, you're going to pick up now? Please. It's just an idea of conversation. Just well, I mean, those were things. I would be remiss in my duties as, as a consultant here and to not share uh, what I understood to be the traditional um, rebranding process and so we at TCF have tried to definitely keep abreast of what's going on in the community um, and if we don't the messaging will not be correct <coughs> um, so traditionally the existing service such as ride share would have had the other services rolled in um, we know that we are contracted to do it for connect Douglas however the the third leg of services the proposed fixed routes have already been attached to Connect Douglas. 
and now we're going back to ride share and attach and connect up. It's just not the traditional process. Um, and so we, we do have to note that. It doesn't mean that it's not an obstacle that can't be overcome, but we do have to know that, that there are reactions when you say the name already. So it's already attached to what some people have expressed reservations about. I, I don't think that there's any intent to kill Connect Douglas. The proposed logos have Connect Douglas. It's, it's all Connect Douglas. But I do think, but I do think it was, it was, and one of the things that we do, and sometimes, uh, uh, and also as we manage risk, Mr. Kind of manager, you know that what that means. We do want to look at, uh, we do it over to you as a client to look at some, some reasonable thoughts and options, you know, that'll be more strategic. I think that's what kind of what, what we have done. And, but again, without going too far out of the box, Mr. Chairman, you know, you know, you're listening. Gary, what do you think? I mean, this is something that you've always been sensitive to. And, and when you, so what, what, do you what do you hear? Well, the thing that struck me is uh, Danielle and I have, have talked as she's gone through her uh, due diligence and her fact finding. Uh, one of the first things she told me is that there is a, a strong uh, Neg neg negative connection with the term connect Douglas. <coughs> so we've just been tossing it around wondering if if we want to go in into this new service this process w with the name that already has so much negativity to it and do we maybe want to consider uh, another name a, a new name for. No decision has been made. It's, it's, it's just a topic of conversation. But that that point that Danielle made struck stuck with me when she talked about how negative connotation is to connect Douglas. And I want to add, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Sure. I think one of the things that I like when Danielle did that, that we, in addition to research, we've also had employees who live in Douglas County, and what we do almost on an every other day basis, if not sometimes every day, we'll, we'll, we're in touch with what's, what's being communicated, what's in social media, what's in the traditional media. And, uh, and again, we, uh, we had, uh, beyond being a distant, we also are here on the ground and sometimes, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, at least once every week to 10 days, uh, I, along with another sad person, we, we come out here uh, just to, here and also so we keep that on the ground information as well because like one of the things that uh, I think as Daniel mentioned earlier I think with, with, with those kinds of I guess <coughs> tentacles out we kind of keep our ear to the ground uh, as well as receiving input from, from the elected officials and, and, and uh, Mr. Martin so that's kind of what we have. So, so to me the, the decision to make is, is we've used Connect Douglas for a good while now we actually took it before the full board of commissioners and they authorized that the use of that as our new brand branding connect douglas so <clears throat> do we continue forward with it even though it does have a negative connotation and just kind of do away with all the effort that we put into that or do we go in another direction with a a, a new name that that <coughs> might create a little more goodwill than connect that this has. Commissioner McCormick, you don't have to make a statement. So you, uh, no. You good? Uh, I can make a statement. Uh, I think you ride with it. In my opinion. Uh, because uh, it won't be perceived any more positively if you change the name uh, because of the fixed route system. So it's just you just you just you just, tra you just transferred the uh, the uh, issue to another title, so it, it, it to me it's it's, it's not uh, okay. it's not even relevant to consider changing the name, okay. and it almost it almost hints at being uh, uh, camouflaging or, or uh, you know hiding uh, hiding the program. So mm -hmm. <coughs> and again, uh, counterproductive. I think the counterproductive. So that's my opinion. Yeah, let me, <coughs> we'll need to react with, with, with comments. Um, I don't disagree, I'm thinking about um, ATL, um, which is the future. 
um, consideration and it's going to impact in its broader macro brand across all the regions. Um, yeah, I mean, remember with the assignment is strictly to educate on what we do. It's not necessarily to market, right? There's three reasons you communicate with people. You persuade, you entertain, or um, you know, you inform. <coughs> I think our goal here, I'm not, I don't think, is just to inform on what we do. It's as is. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's as is. Um, we do appreciate the your care, but I think we're we probably are one hundred percent on the same page. You know, let it lie, let the people see what this because again, Rideshare has great equity with it. I mean, we mm -hmm. just haven't done a good job of educating. That, that's my whole point. We're, mm -hmm. So I think maybe if you just said Rideshare is this, and you know, separating it. I mean, it's a challenge. It's a right. consulting right. challenge that we need you guys to sort of think through. How do we solve that based on the constraints? Like, no, leave Connect does this with that. Leave it alone. Don't, don't <coughs> slide your hand. Don't do any of that. Likewise, Rideshare has a lot of goodwill. Nobody just knows about it. Mm -hmm. So how exactly. do you blend those two? But again, it's educating the public. And so I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Let's just say that's the objective that I want to believe at this point. We're clear. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think that, but that when we do assess it, it's... It would, it's prudent for us to provide that information in our situation analysis, mm -hmm. uh, not to dissuade or persuade anyone to do anything, but to acknowledge strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Sure. Put it on the put it on yes. the yes. no, no action for us. We right. Be good. We understand. Mm -hmm. So right. moving on with the <coughs> logos that were presented for Connect Douglas. Um, what we did with the color palette was to... Um, we did some consulting about the larger branding strategy that's going to happen for the county. Um, we used the green and the yellow, which are, are similar to the website, but made it brighter and more cheerful. Um, the dots um, kind of call notion to the dots on the, on the map for location, as well as the center, the circle for connectivity. So these are some variations of those concepts. The last one um, utilizes an outline of the county uh, and the location. The icon within there is uh, Arbor Place Mall. Um, Gary, I, I don't know if you want to chime in about that one with the feedback that you provided. Um, we are looking to, I did explore looking at putting the old ride share icon in that, but it was too busy of a graphic to fit into that icon. So these are some of the concepts that were presented. Um, once it's fine, once the variation that's preferred is picked, then we can look at tweaking that a little bit more and incorporating it into new materials. Gary, wait. <coughs> please wait. Uh, of these, of these four options, the one I like by far the best is, is number four. <coughs> the uh, what I'm, I have some reservations about is. The, the icon of our replace mall. Uh, to me, if you use that, that, that's more of an advertisement for the mall than it is for, for our services. So Danielle and I tried to come up with a, an option to, to replace the, the mall icon. I suggested the old rideshare logo to where we could sort of tie in the old with the new, but she's saying she doesn't, that logo's too busy and won't work work there but again my preference would be number four if we could come up with a, su a suitable substitute icon up to the left on it. All right, I, I'm going to offer my opinion. Uh, one thing to consider here it, is that these logos are intended to flag or capture attention. Um, they're going to be on a moving object uh, a lot of the time. So the more complex or busy you make them, the more difficult it is to, to provide the message in a split second. With that in mind, I kind of like number three. Uh, in fact, I would I would say you take number three and and in lieu of a yellow, do the orange that you use on number four. Uh, I would like that. 
So now we got <laughs> different. <laughs> no, Mark, play it. Just, just. Look, I'm not very good at picking these because I like all four. Of them. Um, and I see the differences. Um, I mean, I was thinking more of three or four with with the dot circle instead of instead of what's there. But look, I'm good with all four of them. I like them all. So I'm easy. So you're, so you're, I'm sorry. Uh, I so I'm agreeing with you. <coughs> no, I like that. But uh, <laughs> I want to I make sure. Are you thinking of a larger circle and then the connector was within it? Yeah, I mean, possibly. Okay. You know, the, the number three, actually, that looks like a C, so we don't want it to, we want it, don't want it to seem like it's Cobb County. Oh. Um, no, we don't want that. But, no, I do like the circles on one and two, and maybe you could incorporate part of that into number three or something. I don't know. I'm just, I like all four of them, so I don't care. It's been good enough. Yeah. We're small characters. You're getting good, good at oh. what you like and don't like. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, de definitely, too. So uh, I'm polling everybody here, and, and it's uh, pretty split. Um, the uh, Let's go by process of elimination. Uh, I think num number four, uh, a lot of people don't know what the, that orange line is. A lot of people don't know what the outline of Douglas County is. A lot of people don't know what the outline of Douglas County is. So why, why even why even use it? And I agree about we don't need to have a mall uh, or any kind of um, commercial structures, structure in it. You know, if you could put a, you know, <coughs> A wheel of spokes or something that's kind of kind of neutral. I mean, that would, might convey some kind of message. Um, you know, three's o three's okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm thinking about uh, application and uh, how it would, would fit on uh, vans, uh, signage, <coughs> literature, and so forth. And to me, number two is the most compact uh, to to be able to do that. You have a lot of, uh, I think you have a lot of wasted space with uh, with one and four uh, in particular. Uh, I just I like two because it's uh, it's it's compact, but it can still be made large as large as you can be. Uh, so. Okay, and well. with the vans, with the wraparounds for the vans. So this is the logo. There'll be additional sketching and the lines and diagonals to make the van more colorful, mm -hmm. as well as you have the website has to be posted, the phone number. So there are other things to add color to the white vans mm -hmm. that will be in addition but complementary to the logo. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let me ask the committee this this question. Um, <coughs> do you think out of these four options we can decide on something that's suitable or do we need to ask them to try again and bring us some more options? Okay, well, <coughs> we jump in here. I, I think, what is the goal? Uh, there was two parts to the engagement, right? Not, and I'm trying to be consistent. So <coughs> right now, we just want to educate the public. Right? Um, um, that's goal one. Um, we, we still have other steps to go through as it relates to a process, right? Um, um, we have vans on the way for different reasons, but I'm, there's a, a we got to be very practical and deliberate of how we, we do this. We can't let this get to ahead of the overall process, right? Of 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 the uh, of traditional care that needs to work being on, on on that position. So um, I, I don't want to send the message that we're so far down this path that we have we, we still got to step through a couple of steps. That being said, I, I think the goal again is just. To educate the marketplace. So if I I mean, just say you pick one, two or three. The goal is it, it didn't mean that you can't retouch it, right? I mean, are we committing that one <coughs> we do this is this forever? Or are we just trying to get through the motion? It's just the goal is to educate the public on our current services and what our proposals are, and that's the scope of it. But to the extent that this extends beyond that into are we are we there yet? Right? In other words, you may have the design for it, but it didn't mean that once this engagement is over, we're going to Motor buses and wraps. So talk to me. What what do you think? This is the game. <coughs> well, sort sort of like our earlier conversation about uh, the name Connect Douglas. 
or, or something else and changing in midstream I would I would have that same thought about the logo that you don't want to start off with the logo and then change it a month later two months later or six months later down the road I think once you choose something you need to stick with it this, this, this goes back to just overall I mean, that's work with just it's just resyncing right um, you know, we had rise here as a concept and then you know, it's sort of like well it was a name of coca-cola for us and we never used it now we come out with something you know and it's sort of <coughs> and I, I again I go back to I don't want this to be the sticking point of educating the public on what we currently offer absolutely and then, so I keep hearing a future action I'm about to go brand the whole kind like no can we just get some brochures and get some basic information out to the public to get them through this current moment um, I mean I think um, and to get solicit input on um, proposed intended services, I, I don't think uh, a commitment to go paint buses is impending in the immediate moment that we can't. You know, that's why I'm, I'm trying to stop short of, well, do we know that that was the sign to go about the branding? I'm like, I got it. But is it, is it something that we can just take an action on today? Use this to put it on our brochures to go out and educate people on our website or whatever y'all intend to do <coughs> and keep it there. And, and, and for the committee to work through how we now implement this in the broader scope of rolling out services. Um, are you saying that if we agree to this, that immediately we're going to convert everything that we currently already offer to this? No. We're not saying Again, that. it's going to be a process. It's going to take a while. Mr. Walker, well, you see where I'm going? It's like I'm not trying to get ahead of, and I'm not trying to mix the two. I'm just saying. Can we just get through the moment, the next 90 days to educate the public <coughs> yeah. what we're doing? Yeah, I, I, I concur with your, with your, with your focus. Uh, I will also be kind of a co contradictory, uh, and uh, uh, I don't think this is really important. The logo, uh, you know, pick one, you know, throw a dart, start using it. I, I think you can overthink. You can, you can overthink the colors and the design and, and so forth and so on. And uh, but uh, the focus need, needs to be on education. Whatever whatever logo we use, we agree. Uh, you get ten people in the room with ten logos, you're going to get ten different opinions. Mm -hmm. And just like you get four different opinions, you know, here, I don't think it's terribly important as long as you, you stick with what what you got eventually. Uh, so. All right. Well, I don't think I helped anybody. No, no, you get no. We had thirty five, at least thirty five, forty <coughs> people in the last economic whatever that name of that group mm -hmm. is and we had probably 20 opinions on the logo and that's been going on for like two <laughs> yes. years yeah, been going on for yeah I mean, you know. right <coughs> so and it, it didn't obviously tie into the master mm -hmm. marketing effort at the time all right so uh, if i had to weigh in on one i'm gonna say number two okay so what do you think just put it <laughs> she, she's new and so we just it, it, it's, it's non-binding it's just sort of a Give us a different view on what you see. Um, I think I like the color scheme of number four, um, but I like the compactness in the circles of number two. So I like the combination. Okay. Right. <laughs> and, and to her point, maybe it's, maybe it's too much color. Yeah. Just throw that out there. Is it? So we gave you some some guidance. It's not really uh, a lot. There's not a vote uh, per se. I, I think we gave you guidance. It's, we're, it's, we're clear. Yeah, well, where we lean against the consensus. It's like, well, Gary, <coughs> double back to you. Remember what we had to say. But it didn't have to be a formal action. I think again, we don't want to take too much time on it. But do we know? We're clear. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep moving. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't want to belabor that. So are we good on this, guys? How are we good on time, Mark? I don't know. It's two fifty-three. You Mike, are you okay? Yeah. Right. yeah. We're going to try to hit three or? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Anything else you You good? Yeah. Good. Uh, Danielle and I had a, a nice conversation yesterday about some uh, internal things okay. that we can, can do with the staff that we have already as far as, as educating the public and getting the the word out and we're going to be having some further discussions <coughs> on those i think that was a productive <coughs> conversation very good we'll keep us posted on that one thing i want to talk about and commissioner here help me now 
I talked about this yesterday in our programming committee. Uh, Mark, you know, we talked about this yesterday, um, uh, which is having a single place for citizens to get information. Um, and I, I believe um, the, the chairman of the committee, um, Commissioner Mitchell, agreed um, that you know, what, what can we do to, to ensure that for transportation, right? for transportation only. So again, I boxed and said, when we have this need, we know there's a broader county need, broader community structure need, but for transportation alone, having a single place where you can go to and get where you need to go. And, and so I think TJ um, sort of figured out how to do it. But I wanted to bring back to the community that was important. Um, we may not be able to, we don't have the allocation of dollars to go build an entirely different website. I mean, we recognize that, but we have to have a single place mm -hmm. for all information to go get at. And it's got, it doesn't have to be the prettiest user interface and web design, it needs to be functional. And so, Gary, we talked about it at once. You totally agree with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's looking at, at, at least on the front page, having somewhere on the very front page, the top page, whatever you call it, our website that you can click and then it will direct you to whatever information we want to go to and then have links from there. But even so having the move. domain of this same name cost as little as maybe $150 for the year. Yeah, we've already, we already have it actually. Right, and that's what you're saying. It'll just point to the current page if yes. you all don't want to build something else. And building something is, it, is so not you can helpful. have a link to connect Douglas right on mm -hmm. the main page then we go to the other domain, I guess you would say. Right. Mm -hmm. It goes to the county page. It's just a pointer. Yeah. So it's just a dummy site. Yeah. It's just that you have the register, the domain registered. So. Let, let the record show that um, uh, the suggestion, not a recommendation, from the program committee has been presented to the transportation committee on um, a single page solution. We don't have the full design yet, but I think the outcome and the objective is that there needs to be a single page. So we're going to leave it up to staff, Mark, yes, sir. Uh, accordingly to deliver against that. So our job here was not necessarily to design it, but just to agree with that they got it, they can take it up, we're going to have that. Gary, you got that? Yes, sir. We double back and make sure as far as content, you're okay with TJ. At the I'll get with TJ and, and see what we need to do about that. Yes, sir. Mark, you got that? Yes, sir. I mean, Commissioner Walker, you did work. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Not <coughs> we didn't do it earlier. Yeah. In fact, well, just as a broad statement, the, the front page needs to be simplified a lot anyway. It's pretty busy. Yeah. Chairman, before we move on, if I may, um, I'd like to suggest a different path for this branding exercise, not to belabor the point. But I think there was input from a number of the committee members, and perhaps the team can put together some alternatives, uh, not necessarily too many of them, but narrow the scope, and then circulate them to the committee and have us do a final uh, uh, approval or recommendation on it. Uh, but I think, based on the different point of views, I think it might be worthwhile to revisit that. Yeah. Are, are you saying just uh, give us something totally different than these four options? No, I'm, no, I'm or suggesting or? that that th there was there were suggestions <laughs> about tweaking some of those and perhaps a combination of some of the components, and maybe they can narrow down and come up with something <coughs> that addresses those comments. On. Actually, for my record keeping, if I may share, it seems like number two was the received the most votes, <laughs> but. Um, of course, whatever direction you all choose to move in is, is where we will go. But yeah, I think we, we do sort of a speed to action. Yes. Uh, there's, there's a time frame that you guys have got to get going yes. and get out the community. I don't want to over design. Um, if there's a, a duly noted, there's, there's a recognition that um, your, your process is dead on. I, I think we're looking for what we used to call um, a, 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 a more accelerated. Um, a rapid implementation plan, a RIP as I call it, when I was in this old, where it, it, we got to be more bigger and <coughs> faster. Um, and if we go through another cycle, I'm just not quite certain we're going to 
we're going to throw them off and, and tell Commissioner Mo okay, I, mean, I think we can just sort of, as a function, we just try to be functional. Um, I, I think educating the public is more important than, I, I just can't, I, I can't forsake that than trying to wow them with, you know, I'm sure we can do a better job every time we touch it, every time we iterate on it, it will become. And it's all subjective anyway. I prefer we just continue duly noted. Yep. Keep it. Okay. <coughs> I just we are okay with that. Yeah. I, I just yeah. for the sake of just the timing, duly noted, but it's like we're gonna run out of time here and I just I don't want y'all to be compromised because of our process that I, I know the spirit is right, but the objective is to educate and so we can't forsake on that. Just make sure there's no typos. All right. Um Commissioner Mulder? here? Not good. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Good. Anything else to the agenda? No, sir. I think it's um, um, So, next step just closes out. Um, what do you think you would deliver at our next meeting, which will be mid June? Mid June. Well, um, as I was sharing, once we have this, then we will be finalizing the communication plan, uh, which Gary has some sample um, entries that I was also um, able to share. Although we're doing things to the general public, there are specific and targeted messages to two specific targets because that message has to be tailored to different units. And so these are some of those examples. That is already underway and will be completed within like a week and submitted to Gary for approval. Um, it's just the collateral materials that are dependent upon which logo we put in. But we've mm -hmm. kept moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're All right, so mm -hmm. how do you communicate? And one of the things, again, um, there's a need to be sensitive that we have a broader peer group of our commissioners that they also need to know uh, what the communication plan is. And so here we are, I want to avoid being here in June. You're just sharing with us, and this is all over in July. Just if, we, if you can make it iterative, throw it on the wall in the interim, Gary, you need to get it to us in between. So how about we say, do you think we'll have something by way of communication plan by the beginning of June? So that at least we can begin to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's your chance. Oh, yeah, I get where I'm going. I, mm -hmm. I just don't want to wait till last minute and we slam on um, the commissioners and, and they didn't have a chance to. I, I think it would it would have to be kind of right. Commissioner Mulk here. I'm looking at this lady right here. She she wants to say something. No, I, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> oh. I just want to make sure I'm clear. I'm yeah. just listening. And I think we get, our turn up meetings have been uh, that I'm talking. And plus, I think uh, as you guys know, ex with the exception of, of, of Mr. Mitchell, uh, there won't there will be very little surprises if any. So the answer is yes. Just to Again, you working directly with our commission, and us are working with our committee, two different worlds, right? And, and gotcha. So we, and and what we can do, I think, as we met with you before, we can also maybe have another internal staff meeting with, with, like we had before. Uh, maybe that that'd be a good move, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. We met with you and Mr. Martin before, and uh, maybe maybe we add an additional staff meeting because every week we, Danielle mostly, sometimes myself, uh, are in charge of either meeting or talking to Gary, so we can just maybe add maybe an additional staff meeting, an update as we do it. Maybe that would that would that help, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Let me make it this way. This is what's important. Having one-off meetings <coughs> are, are really not a record that we need as committee. Okay, it's got to get back to the committee so we can get it a record, right? So y'all can have a bunch of one-off staff meetings, but if we <coughs> don't have a circulation that we're communicating with our peers, or well, we're not communicating, it gets. It puts us in an awkward situation. Okay. So we need it in some kind of way. We're not, there's not a prohi prohibition to meeting with those guys. Okay. Do yeah. that all you want. <coughs> we just formally need to get it back into here. So not we can set expectations and say, okay, in two weeks we're going to have this update milestone. We can acknowledge it. In two weeks from now you're going to have a formal, I need that thread. That's all Done. I'm saying. Keep Done. doing what you're doing, but help. I understand. Keep it in this process. Yes. No problem. Two separate things. Two separate things. Mr. Chairman, do you think it would be appropriate if, if they made a presentation to the full board on their, I think it's June 4th work session, so they, they'll have a complete update of what we've done so far and what we still need have to do in the month? I was hoping at least by um, the second meeting in June, at least 30 days from today. No later than then, you've got to present to the full board of commissioners. No later than then. So, so the first week is okay. The first meeting is okay, but no later than the second. Meeting. Correct. But commissioners. That's fine. Whatever you, whatever your preference. That gives you thirty days. I mean, so back to communicate. Does that give you enough time to find yep. the communication plan and be prepared? Yes. Definitely. Either day is fine. Full thirty level. Whatever you prefer. Either day is fine. Not an issue. Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, for, uh, have you, so you're going to determine fourth of the 11th, or you? Yeah. Okay. Except, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on. We'll, we'll, we'll put it together. Work out. That'll be fun. Done. Danielle, I'm sorry. We, we get to go in. Do you have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> and, and thank you, Commissioner Lowe, for your I have seen you. She was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Mulcair. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't play poker, so I don't have a good poker face. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't have anything further to add. Um, we want to continue this process. Uh, I think there were some dates in our engagement campaign, so I'm looking forward to the opportunity to um, providing the finalized communication plan for submission and getting it to the committee actually prior to then, uh, given our timeline and the expectations that were set forth. Good enough. So, in three weeks, you'll have something for us to get a heads up, and then yes. about within 30 days, you'll be in front of the full board commissioners. Yes. Today. Talking about what we have done. Sounds good. And so, we won't be assembled as a committee, but we can expect work uh, to receive something from these guys. Done. Gary? Yes, sir. We work through Gary. That's all. Done. All right. Okay. Thank you all for your time. And thank you for your input. Thank you guys for coming. All right. Um, committee, is there anything else that we want to cover here today in today's meeting? Good. We're good. Mm -hmm. All hearts and minds. Oh, you know, one thing. Oh, I thought about this. Um, as a future consideration for our next meeting, put this on your agenda. Yeah. We uh, received a, uh, a, a formal <coughs> opinion, financial opinion from Terminus uh, regarding the Greta and its impact as uh, if we considered doing an additional uh, penny swap, what that would mean on any current um, consideration. So, Take a look at this memo that I'm going to give you, and we can talk about it at our next meeting. Um, in addition, um, this also came out of the Finance Committee. This topic here was also to look at the um, um, current budget that may be expected with our current um, CMAT grant, um, et cetera. That will be forthcoming as an exercise out of the Finance Committee. So just a heads up, we're going to bring that back to our next meeting. Do you know Okay. So just a future expectation setting. Mark, got that? Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if nothing else, uh, I'm going to hand this out. But if there's nothing else, I'd like to call this meeting adjourned. Okay. Thank you.